Hey everybody, um, I'm so grateful to be able to share this moment with you and yet um, I'm sorry because of my schedule and my job uh, that I can't be there uh, with you in person. But I am so honored to receive the Enforcer Award in honor of my friend, um, colleague, and brother, Maurice Lucas. Um, to receive this kind of award um, is humbling because of what Luke meant to me. When I first got to Portland, um, <laughs> And Nate McMillan was, was crazy enough to hire a guy like me to sit on the front of the bench. Um, I soon learned who Luke was, uh, the presence, uh, the patience, and his good way was something that had a huge impact on me. Um, I was one who had watched um, NBA footage of Portland basketball back in the day but I also watched footage of Lukey doing his thing when he had to set some things straight on the floor. And I thought that's who he was um, in totality. When I got to Portland and we began to work together, I realized uh, there was a, a kind, gentle, talented man um, behind the enforcer. And I was so fortunate to be able to uh, spend time at the house with Pam and Luke. And I realized that Lukey was a man of many, many gifts. Um, I had no idea that he could sing. I had no idea that he could build his own furniture. Um, and I had no idea how caring he was for the community. So for me to receive this award in his honor is an awesome thing. Um, Lukey's not with us anymore, but he lives on in the many memories that we all have. And <laughs> one memory I have of Luke was um, early one morning before coaching meetings with Nate McMillan, I was in the pool swimming. And I would often do that before practice. And Luke came in there um, just to see what I was doing and, and mess with me. And so he was standing by the pool and I got out and Luke could tell that I was up to something and I was going to push him into the pool. Well, I mustered up enough energy to push most people into the pool and I almost ran and tried to tackle Luke and I ran into a brick wall and I could not move him. And <laughs> it blew me away how strong he was and I was humbling because I thought I was strong. <laughs> but nonetheless, we both got a laugh out of it. And he was actually laughing while I was straining to push him into the pool. And it, it said a lot about his physical strength. But later on um, in his life, I learned a lot about his emotional and spiritual strength. Uh, even when he was struggling um, to stay alive, I saw the same Lukey that had attracted me to him when I first met him. I saw the caring man. I saw the guy that would sit outside of his house by the pool and talk to me about my family, life issues, basketball, whatever I needed. And um, I was so blessed to be able to talk to Luke before he went on to be with the Lord. Um, Pam was so gracious to allow me to share a conversation with him in his last minutes. And I'll never forget that time. I'll never forget um, hearing that he had moved on shortly after our conversation. And so for me to receive this award um, is special to me and my family. And um, I'm grateful for the time I had with Lukey. I'm grateful for the lessons I learned from him I'm grateful that I got a chance to know the man uh, behind the left and right hook that he often would throw if he needed to because he had a huge impact on me. And so thank you all for allowing me um, the honor of having this award. Pam, thank you so much for opening your doors to me and checking on me still to this day. But I wanna thank Lukey for being the man that I needed to be around 
in a city that embraced me and allowed me to uh, be a part of the community and the culture that Luke helped build. So I love you all. Thank you so much for the award. God bless you and enjoy the night.